There's a new wave emerging from the mighty Mississippi and spreading throughout the city of New Orleans. Call it exciting and color it green. One, two, three. Run, 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 run. Here we go. Cut the air, let's go. Run. Go With renewed enthusiasm, the green wave of Tulane, long renowned as one of the country's outstanding universities, is rolling toward a return to football prominence. Let's go. Let's go now, run. On the sidelines, there is new leadership. And we can either go field goal or we'll come back with it. On the field, new determination. Quick drop, sharp drop pass. Left side out of the backfield. It's Hunter. He's hit at the five. Breaks a tackle and runs into the end zone for the first touchdown of the year for the Green Wave. From top to bottom, a commitment has been made. At Tulane University, they are building a winner. Tulane University, just 20 minutes from the fun and excitement of downtown New Orleans. His name is Mac Brown, and just a few miles from the glitter and beat of Bourbon Street, he's making his own kind of music. Young, energetic, with more than a decade of coaching experience, Mac Brown brings a new direction, and most importantly, a new sense of pride to Green Wave football. We feel like that we can instill a certain pride in these young men that already have it. To, to make it get better, to make them feel better about themselves, to make them feel good about their self-image. We feel like that we do more for them as people sometimes than we do as football players. And those are the type of things we look for to try to help that young man not only develop himself, but I think if he knows and, and has a full awareness that we care about him, there's no question that he's going to care more about us uh, as he cares about himself and Tulane University. Coach Mac Brown is one of the finest young men I've encountered. Uh, he has the kind of philosophy that we are interested here at Tulane University. He's interested in the academic achievement and the graduation of our student athletes. He's interested in them having, enjoying playing football uh, so that it really is part of a collegiate experience. Mac Brown, he builds character in each individual and it's up to yourself to, to let that character come out. He's um, trying to teach us how to win and still become winners in life. He's brought a whole new attitude around here and it's changed drastically. He look you right in the face and he tell you where you stand. He stresses uh, class, discipline, you know, being competitive, working hard, and uh, I look up to him. Do you think your coaches feel good about where you are? Do they feel comfortable? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You think they've got confidence in you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, that has to give you confidence, because these guys have been coaching a long time. I feel totally confident. I, I think today there were very, very few errors. Everybody knew what to do. I thought the concentration was good. A very confident team is one that works hard and does good every day. Long recognized as one of the premier offensive minds in college football, Mac Brown has introduced a crowd-pleasing, wide-open attack. The Mac Attack. Troy Wright into the lineup for Winhole with a play from Mac Brown. Turns around, comes back. Carter makes it the tailback. Back to pass. In the end zone, wide open. Touchdown. Troy Wright in the back of the end zone. I'm excited about our offense. I think it's fun for our players and fun for our fans. And uh, you get uh, 50 to 70,000 fans coming to a ball game and, and it becomes show business on Saturday afternoon. They're coming in there to see a show. So we want to put on a show with our offense. We're going to run reverses. We're going to run screens. We're going to run misdirection plays. Uh, 
We'll throw them first down a lot. We may open the ball games with a, with a deep pass to get the fans excited. And I think it's fun for the players. We'll shift in motion a lot. We'll move people all over. Uh, you would have to say, I guess, that we're basically a controlled underneath passing attack. And we will go deep some during the ball game. We also feel like you need to run the option some. So we've probably got a little bit of everything in our offense, and, and we let the quarterback have a lot to do with it. He will check in our system, he will move it around, and he's really the coach on the field. So we like to get guys who have been winners in high school, and know what it means to, to do well in the classroom, and know what it means to compete in the fourth quarter in a tough ball game. Individual effort, hard work, the desire to excel. It all begins here in Tulane's spacious strength and conditioning facility under the careful guidance of coach Fred Roll. We try to keep statistics on each player when they come in. We start with measurements such as height, weight, percentage of body fat, lean body mass, uh, speeds, uh, and agilities and things like that. We'll take each young man and ask his position coach, how do you want him to perform? How does his performance look compared to what you want? And how do you want his uh, body composition, his physical makeup, how do you want that to be? And we try to work from those areas and give the coaches what they want in their athletes. Preventing injury and improving body strength are vital to each athlete at Tulane. Sharing importance with in-season stretching exercises a modern, colorful locker room. And proper nutrition as found in abundance every day at the Green Wave training table. And with all home games played in the fabulous Superdome, the facilities at Tulane are second to none, enabling the Green Wave athlete to perform at his highest level against a challenging schedule of nationally prominent teams. But a young man's time at Tulane is as much for the mind as the body. His goals point toward academic achievement and the challenge of the classroom, so necessary when playing days are over. Academics are the number one reason that people go to school. Tulane's one of the top academic schools in the country, and uh, I'm still a believer that you can do both. I'm a believer that you can get the great degree, be an A student, and still be very competitive on Saturday and be a class individual, work toward that degree, get that degree, and go out and make a great living for yourself. So it's easy for me to sell that to a parent because I believe it. Coach Brown has uh, made it very important to the players. He made us realize that it's very important to have a degree, that not everyone's going to be a professional athlete. There will be very few that do have the opportunity and make it. So your degree is the most important thing that you'll ever have in your life. Progress toward a degree, the number one priority at Tulane. From the first moment a young athlete steps on the New Orleans area campus, his transition to university life is monitored by Dr. Thomas Hill. The freshmen who come in, we intend to help them develop the right skills and attitudes and behaviors that are going to ensure success three, four, five years down the road. My job is that similar to a conduit. I help them to get to the resources and and utilize what's available in order to achieve their goals. The goal of graduation is very attainable at Tulane. Over the past five years, more than 91% of student athletes who completed their athletic eligibility have also earned their degrees. Like many graduates who choose to remain in the New Orleans area, Former quarterback Dr. Rock Hontas found Tulane perfect for his needs. I wanted a, a, a first-rate athletic program. Uh, I was hopefully uh, uh, going to get into medical school uh, on my, upon my graduation. 
Uh, I wanted a nice uh, city in which to play in, in which to at least to live for four years and possibly longer. Uh, and all those things uh, uh, just seemed to uh, point towards Tulane. They had everything uh, that I was interested in. On this 110-acre tree-line campus, students find perfect surroundings to pursue their goals. Among undergraduate studies, a young person may select from such career opportunities as law, medicine, engineering, business, liberal arts, and the sciences. The Tulane School of Medicine is ranked among the top 30 in the world, while the program in comparative law is among the top three in the nation. With more than 100 student organizations on this warm weather campus, extracurricular activities are plentiful. And when it's time for relaxation, just a short trip from campus, all the culture, history, and excitement offered by the South's most enchanting city, New Orleans. I don't think that there's... You can never say that you're bored here. You can never say that there's nothing to do here. Because of the fact that you are in a city, there's so much to do, and there's so much here for everyone else to do, too. There's Audubon Zoo, which is right around the corner. You can just go there, walk around. It's really a nice atmosphere. There's the streetcars on St. Charles. You can ride up and down the streetcars all day and just view the city. It's really interesting. Um, there's the French Quarter. You can go ride the river boats up and down the river, or just tour the French Quarter. There's a, there's a lot of different things in the French Quarter you can see. And then there's Audubon Park, which is right across the street. Um, if you want to go jogging, there's a nice trail to jog on, or if you just want to go picnicking, it's a really nice place just to go and relax. The weather is incredible. I'm from the north, and that's why I'm here. It's so nice to have sun in February and sun in November. The campus is beautiful. It's just a really good place to be. There, there's a certain closeness that we are Tulane, and we carry it all throughout the city. You see bumper stickers all over. Um, and it's a sort of like, ah, that, that's someone that went there or someone who knows someone from Tulane. If you've never been to a football game at Tulane, you are in for such a treat. We're going to have such a good time. We're getting the dorms all together and, and decorating in green and white, and we're wearing our green and white to the game. Yes, green and white football is wild and crazy and fun. Green Wave fans are proud of their gridiron heritage. Seven former players or coaches in the National Football Foundation Hall of Fame. Appearances in the Rose, Sugar, Liberty, Blue Bonnet, and Hall of Fame Bowls. Numerous All-American players and games on all major television networks. There is a proud past at Tulane on which to build a promising future. Laying the groundwork for that future will take young men willing to sacrifice to be part of a total team effort. Play on D. Come on, Big D, let's go! Confident men willing to go to battle and to wear the green tee as a badge of honor. Poised men eager to play the game and turn Saturdays into fun days. And most of all, building a winner at Tulane will take dedicated men willing to join a program, accept a challenge, and then turn that challenge into a triumph. I'm really excited about the future of our football program here at Tulane. We've got a beautiful place to play. One of the best arenas in the country for a young man to come and be successful in his football program. Got a beautiful city with so many things to do that any young man can enjoy. We've got a great young staff that's done a great job recruiting, cares about young people, and what can you say about an academic institution about Tulane? It's one of the top 24 in the country. Any parent can be proud to send their young people here to get a great education. We're going to build a winner at Tulane. Way down yonder in New Orleans, Tulane's got a new football team. Got a brand new king to lead the crew of Tulane. There's been talk all over the town about this super coach, Mac Brown. Now, 
we got a big surprise for you. Now you're gonna see what we can do. Send those tigers to Baton Rouge and knock the Seminoles out of the shoe. Too late, football is back.